Good. Hi, everybody. DIY Statue Guy here. You can find me on YouTube. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when my next video comes out. So today, uh, well, yesterday, I did a lion head and fiberglass. I started with PVA on a separate video and then went on to waxing and then fiberglass the lion head. Today, I'm going to try to get it off of here. I haven't done nothing to it. This could be either really hard or this could be really easy. Because of the wax, I, I tend to think it's going to be really easy. It's still kind of tacky in a way. So I have it sealed right there. Start over here. We got two watching. Hi, people. So I'm just basically releasing the lion head I did yesterday. So far it's turning out to be a little bit difficult. Not too bad. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna release it off the tile. I do my molds on tiles. Throw some talcum powder, some baby powder. That way it doesn't stick together as I'm <laughs> working with it. This is necessary or your latex will stick together. Baby fresh and smooth. Oh yeah. Slightly pull back a little. <coughs> About um. I can't wait to see it when it's done. Me too. And this is with that, that <laughs> wax you release. So imagine without it, no, how much more. <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah. That. Tried it all. <coughs> My goodness, excuse me, guys. I keep coughing. Slightly lift. Don't pop your mold.
can hear it. Do you need another hand? Yeah. It's a slow process. You don't want to rush this too much. What I'm doing is I'm separating the PVA. So that way it pulls. It's not extra pressure pulling against it. Breaking that seal. Now there's a window of how long you want to leave this, right? Once you don't that? want to leave it too long sitting, right? Because it'll... Yeah, you don't want to leave it too long. It will be harder to pull it out the longer you set. Everything dries. This one probably sat for about 12 hours, was it? Something like that. Not long. Nice. There's the latex. There's the fiberglass. Now what I'll do is I'll just let this sit for probably another 12 hours or so, so it stops being all goofy inside. Um, this will all dry out, and then I'll go wash all the PVA and wax off this, and then wash this out after this completely cures. That's perfect. Um, so let's do this. Let's yeah, I was gonna say. mold it as well. Cool. Um, basically I'm just gonna lift everything up, kind of pour some talcum powder in there as I go. Needed. That will ruin your mold if you don't have powder because it'll get stuck, stuck to together. itself. <laughs> Gonna move around, make sure it's underneath so I can get inside. So what I'll do is after this is all done, and I'll take that probably won't do this on camera, but what I'll do is I'll cut this back until it actually hits the mold all the way around it. So it'll be a nice pour every time. A lot of people use clay underneath. I just don't see the point. It's extra cost and it's not like it's a lot of waste that goes underneath the statue. Yeah. It's just my preference. You can do what you want. Don't mind our screaming kids. Yeah. <laughs> Good old weekends. Old every day nowadays. Alright, so I got it all underneath. I know that's not going to stick together. Now I'm just going to pull this back, throw a little talcum powder in there, move it around so it doesn't stick together. And just keep doing that as I go around the statue slowly. Put my finger in there, make sure it's all the way through. I pull back as I do this so it doesn't stick together. Let it go back after the talcum powder's in there. Come out a little bit more. I'll pull out for the ear. Fill that in first because it's a void. You want to make sure that it doesn't stick together as you're pulling it off. Go back here. Come off a little. back. Here's your void again. I'm going to pop it inside out so it doesn't touch anything else until it has some talcum powder on it. I'm going to 
I'll put it back. Here and then we're going to start really going. There's another little void in here. Make sure some powder gets in there. Shake that around, make sure it touches. I'm going to pull up and off. Nice. I hope you guys can see. I hope this is a decent angle. I'm just going to keep going just like I did before around the statue. Wow, look at that detail. Boy, that's nice. And you can see all the fine detail in it. This one's a lion head. All right, so this, since this has a under recess, I'm going to go from the face down. It's basically how I'll pull the statue no matter what. And from this point, I'm going to put that back and come up the chin. Because it's got that recess right there, I didn't want to pull it off the other way and get it stuck together and it loses detail, you'll have to fix it. That's basically it right there. Wow. It's like magic. Right. Now I'm going to do the outside just so it doesn't stick together at any point. So keep your latex soft as well. <laughs> Let's put it in front of, here's the statue. Very nice. All right, we're going to put this in front of a light. If you could step over there for me, honey. Of course. Sorry, our okay. garage is a mess. And then come over here. Okay. Wow. And it gets a 3D effect to it. Check that out. Haha, <laughs> that's amazing. She's sick. looking at me like I'm being stalked by a lion. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, DIY statue guy here. Um, again, hit me up on YouTube. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know when my videos come out. Again, I apologize. It's been a while since I've came on, but life happens. All right, you guys be safe. Good luck. And remember, anybody can do this. If you have hard times, if you have no skills in life or anything, practice. Practice until you are able to make it. And I, I bring in money every day. So can you. So can you. True. DIY statue guy here. You guys, bye.